yours truly welcome back to my channel um, today we're going to be doing another wig review but before we get into that please go ahead and subscribe to my channel make sure you turn on your notification bell so you'll know when I'm bringing you some new reviews okay y'all so today I'm doing a review on model models deep invisible part wigs in the style Jojo in the color OT530 and this is what she looks like on the stock card and on the model i will leave some links below on where you can purchase her i purchased her from my local beauty supply store and y'all I, I like her i like her a lot now i did play with this wig a little bit before recording because i feel like i'm really trying to get the hang of this whole synthetic hair baby hair thing now i'm not gonna lie as you can see i have already prepped my own baby hairs just in the event that this does not work out I'm prepared, but I'm gonna I'm give it one more shot. When I when I tried to do it off camera, it was it was okay, and I did use that got to be glued stuff because they say it's supposed to be like the best thing to use to do synthetic baby hairs, and I don't like got to be glued. So if y'all have some good alternatives, please drop them in the comments and let me know because I I don't like it. But anyways, this is her. Look at her color. Now, to me, I think she's a little bit brighter than my other red wig, but I love her. Like, look how pretty the color is. Okay, so I'm super excited about this wig because I may end up getting her again in like a number two because she is very work friendly. Like this style, and you'll see once I put her on, is very work friendly. Now, she does shed a little bit, and I don't know if that's because... I purchased her, um, she was the last one in this color, so I purchased her off the mannequin because I really wanted her. So maybe that's it, but she doesn't really tangle and she does not come with lace to cut. This is your parting space. And she has two combs in the front and one in the back. She does have adjustable straps, but of course, I always undo them because I have a big head. So, I'm going to go ahead and put on my wig grip. Because I've been realizing, y'all, why y'all ain't tell me I'd be forgetting to put my wig grip on in these videos? Y'all gotta let me know sometimes. Okay. So I like to put mine about right here. And I have on two wig caps today. Just because I feel like my braids are not as flat as they should be. So I put on two, two wig caps. Okay, so I'm going to put her on as a middle part first. And then as a side part, and then I'll go in and, you know, customize and do my baby hairs and whatever. Okay, another thing that I did do off camera, don't judge me. I felt like the baby hairs were too long, so I did cut them a little bit. But for the purposes of just showing y'all how it looks on my head, I'll just tuck the baby hairs for right now. All right. So this is her, and I'll just go over mine, my edges right now until I decide what I want to do but this is her as a middle part mm. okay there we go there we go all right look how pretty she is oh look how pretty oh can you call slip I got lips to come up to you Okay, so this is her on as a middle part. And I just like to brush my, my wigs back like this so I can get that good feather going on. And brush out. All right, so this is her 
as a middle part. And just go in and play with her a little bit. Get my, get my curls right. Okay, so I do feel like I got a little bit of hump action going on, but that can easily be fixed. But y'all look how pretty she is. I love this color. Like, y'all, I love this color so much. Like, yes, yes, honey, yes. So this is her as a middle part. Let me show you how long she is. I am five, four and a half. And this is about how long she is on me. So very appropriate length for people who don't like nothing super long, which I'm one of those people, which is probably why I won't do a whole lot of bone straight wigs because y'all they're super long. Like they're really, really, really long. And I don't like really, really long weave or hair or whatever that's not mine so here let me tuck these underneath here so i don't sit here and look crazy just for right now but yeah these are like my little baby hairs right here so i haven't i'm not gonna put them down right now because i want to show you how she looks to the side so i'm just tucking them but yeah, this is her as a middle part. And as much as I do like this as a middle part, I really do. I think I just got a big forehead, y'all. I do. Like, my forehead is so big. But I love this wig. Like, give me give me a couple days and I might have to introduce her to the office because <laughs> I like her. I like her a lot. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put her as a side part to the right because I like to part my hair on this side, which is which would be my right. So I'll go ahead and let's go ahead and take her off and shift her to the right. About right there, okay. Now, the density on this wig is good. The luster on it is good. It's not sh super shiny or anything like that. Pull it back so There we go. Okay. And I love the length, like I said. Like, I love the length. I love the body that I get with this. Feels like a, like a roller set. Like a good roller set. Y'all ain't had a roller set in so long. But that's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of like when I used to go get my hair done. Um, back when I had a perm and I'll go get a roller set. So yes, y'all, I can't get over this color. I can't get over the color. And here, y'all know I like to tuck. So I can, I can tuck her. <laughs> I'm so, you know what, I'm ready to go. Like I'm, I need to find somewhere to go right now because I need someone else to see how pretty this hair is like. Period. I'm ready to go. Y'all ready to go? We, we can be done right now because, hmm, baby. <laughs> I love her. Y'all, I love her so much. Okay, so I'm going to wear her as a side part and I'm going to go in and I'm going to I'm gonna attempt these baby hairs, okay? And then I'll go in and put some um, powder in my part and then uh, that'll be it in terms of me styling this wig so if you want to continue to watch and see how I do that please do so and make sure that again you comment you like and you subscribe turn on your bell notifications so you know when I'm bringing you more units like her and y'all she was only $20 $20 two zero two tens a dub she was $20 so Again, I got her from my local beauty supply store. I will leave some links below where you can purchase her. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe about the same. But I got this bad baby for $20. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in and keep watching. Oh,